Hey, what's going on, guys? Pokemaster Pook, we are back again today. Super sorry for the late upload here, guys, but had work super early in the morning today, so I was up at like 5 a.m. getting ready for work at 6, so... We are here now, though. I did log in still. I did cook. Uh, actually, I logged in like right before 6 o'clock um, because I missed dinner last night because of the uh, maintenance update. However, I, I still was able to cook dinner uh, super early this morning since I was up. Um, and then I did log back in and I did cook breakfast as well. Um, however, we're not going to collect up from the uh, Pokemon yet because they are super low. Um what do I want to say, uh, not, not health, but, like, um, speed, like, speed of help, um, uh, the energy, they're super low on energy, there we go, um, so we are gonna go ahead and connect up to the Go Plus Plus here, though, and we're gonna do our sleep session for this morning, so this is, um, Wednesday's sleep session, Wednesday night sleep session. So I'm very curious to see um, just as exactly how much we can get. I'm pretty sure we did hit, I want to say it was Master 4 last night before I went to bed. We had 10 hours, 32 minutes. I had my girlfriend shut off my Go Plus Plus this morning. So <clears throat> as you can see, like right around like five to six, um, I was definitely up. And then like there's like a major slumbering type again. Uh, and then closer towards probably 7.30 or so um, is whenever she woke up. So she, she shut my Go++ Go Plus Plus off uh, again this morning. So thank you, Miss Pokemaster Pook. We got the slumbering type today. Let's go. What, what kind of drowsy power are we looking at here? Okay, let's go. Over 25. Can we hit 30? 30 million? No, not quite. 28 million, though. 28 million drowsy power. We do have an atop Ellie sleeper. Let's see who we can get. Who is it going to be? An Iggly buff. Let's go. Ooh, and we got a... Uh, um, Magnemite, that's super awesome as well. <clears throat> we got a Squirtle down here, we got a Sfeel, a Dodrio, we got, ooh, a Pichu as well, we got, um, Sudowuda, Graveler, I think that's everybody. Let's go ahead and snap the photos. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> I was like was thinking about it there for a second. So unfortunately no new sleep styles again. Cause we still only need two more uh new sleep styles to get uh the two hundred and ninety sleep styles in the decks. So Squirtle's hung or is that Iggly buff? I don't know. I can't tell who's hungry there. Okay, it's definitely Squirtle. Alright, well, I'll take it. <clears throat> I will take it. Um, I, also, I also think I'm going to work on the Pichu. And I, part, part of me wants to work on the Magnemite as well, but why am I thinking that do they can, I mean, Magnemite can, well, no, he could be a metal type Pokemon, I guess. Do they consider Magnemite metal or electric? Now I'm kind of curious to catch one just to see. Um, I do have a, I do have one though, but, okay, let's, um, shoot, what, what am I doing here? Okay, let's go ahead and we'll get the Pichu. Because I'd rather have the Pichu than the than the Magnemite. Plus, this will be a level 10 friendship Pichu as well. So, listen, it's all about that preparation for electric type week now. 
Hopefully this is a good Pichu, Berry Finding S. We do have a Berry Finding S uh, Pikachu already. Um, but hey, another one would not hurt. Um, do we want to use the Great Biscuit on Squirtle? Hmm. I think we'll just use, yeah, we'll use the Great Biscuit on Squirtle. Right? For the Hungry. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, and then we're gonna. We will feed the Magnemite as well. We'll try. To, we'll try to recruit the Magnemite here. Hopefully, it doesn't get full. Switch back to the Pokey Biscuits. Plus one there. Please don't be full. Yes, let's go. Alright, so we got the Magnemite there as well. And now we are going to also recruit this feel down here because, I mean, why not? It only needs one Pokey Biscuit, so. Might as well collect up this feel. <clears throat> friendship let's go we gave out 14 biscuits let's go let's finish the snack time <clears throat> and let's check out our awesome pokemons all right um i think we're gonna do the p true i almost said pikachu um i think we're gonna do the p true though give everybody some of that electric candy Oh, let's go rank 50 up so now the research exp that we're getting is no longer being converted to dream shards it is being converted back to research exp now um, because we can now level up from rank 50 to rank 55 so super awesome getting a little bit of a rank up there all right let's start going through the pokeball that we got here so, <clears throat> this is a Friendship Level 10 Pichu, and it's uh, Level 11 Relaxed Nature. So, it, it is a Berry Finder, obviously. No Berry Finding S, unfortunately. It has Helping Bonus, though. Helping Bonus, Skill Level Up S, Inventory Up L, Inventory Up M, Ingredient Finder S, with Energy Recovery Bonus Up, and EXP Gains Down. So, I mean, not a terrible Pichu. However, I basically have, like, a, something similar to this in a Pikachu as well. So, not really quite as useful of a Pichu for me since I already have a Pikachu that's kind of the same. Um, so, we got the level 11 Squirtle Hardy Nature. So, Squirtle is an ingredient-type Pokemon. Um, it's going to get us... Sleep EXP bonus, skill level up S, inventory up S, ingredient finder M, and research EXP bonus. And the nature has no effect. So, I mean, honestly, I feel like we probably do already have a better Squirtle than this. Um, well, Blastoise. Um, but, yeah. That, I mean, other than the sleep EXP bonus, it doesn't really have... A whole lot going for it. I mean, it does have the research EXP bonus as well, but that's that's level 100. So, <laughs> all right, next, let's go to this. Oh, Magnemite, level 13, relaxed nature. So, <clears throat> yeah. So they do actually consider Magnemite a metal type Pokemon versus an electric type Pokemon. Which I, I kind of feel like they did they did it wrong there. Magnemite should be an electric type Pokemon. So I mean, wh whatever, it's all right though. Uh, Magnemite is a skills type Pokemon, which it does look like we have Skill Trigger M already unlocked. And then we have an Ingredient Finder, Helping Speed, Skill Trigger S, and Inventory Up M. Uh, we already do have energy recovery up with EXP gains down. Um, 
I mean, honestly, I feel like it's not bad of a Magnemite, but we definitely already do have a uh, lot better of a Magna Zone. Um, so, I mean, honestly, like... I don't think we really need this one either. So, like... And I think that this this is kind of what I'm starting to realize <clears throat> in Pokemon Sleep versus games like Pokemon Go. Uh, even though it is very fun to, you know, recruit these, these Pokemon and, and try to catch them and stuff like that, Pokemon Sleep, I feel like, just has a different, <clears throat> like, sort of atmosphere with it. So, let's go over this feel real quick, and I'll, then I'll talk more about that. Um, <clears throat> so, we got Sfeel... Uh, with the berries, we got sleepy XP bonus, skill level up, skill trigger, inventory up, ingredient finder with main skill chance up, EXP gains down. So, I mean, definitely we could have a lot def better of a berry finder here. Uh, this one is honestly really not the one that we want. Um, but hey, that's okay. Um, anyways, back to what I was talking about. Like I said, I feel like po with Pokemon Sleep... It's not necessarily about always, you know, catching more Pokemon. Um, so obviously, each sleep session you do, you do have more Pokemon spawning in. Um, but I mean, honestly, it's not, in my opinion, really necessary uh, to continue to catch all of the Pokemon. You know what I mean? So, it, like, in my opinion right there, um, with, with the Magnemite. Okay, let's go. We got a Recovery Incense. But in my opinion there, with the Magnemite, did I really need to catch it? No, not really. Um, and I mean, the only thing that it's going to really help me for now is the fact that, like, I can get extra candies by transferring it. Um, but other than that, you know, and there's so many other different ways to get candy in this game. Um, you, you don't need to always necessarily catch it, transfer it, you know what I mean? Like, that, that also does help, you know, uh, build up some candies for it as well. Um, but like I said, I, d I don't really think I needed the Magnemite because, um, I mean, obviously Magnezone, which is the highest evolution of Magnemite, uh, is going to be the better type Pokemon to use, um, which here, in my opinion, I do already have a really good Magnezone, uh, with main skill chance up. It already has skill trigger S, skill trigger M at level 25. And then it also has research EXP bonus, inventory up S, helping speed S. So I already have a really good Magnezone. There's not really a need for me to keep recruiting Magnemites, you know what I mean? Unless it's for the extra candies to power up this Magnezone. Um, that's really the only thing that you would need to recruit them for. And in, and in my opinion, right now, this early in the game, uh, I feel like we don't really need to be recruiting every single Pokemon that we find. You know what I mean? So maybe later game, like as we're getting up into uh, like level 75, level 100, like our Pokemon then are going to be extremely hard to level up. Um, it's going to take lots of candies, it's going to take lots of stardust, so then, maybe then, you would want to consider, like, okay, let's, let's focus on catching, you know, a lot more of these older Pokemon that have been in the game since the start, uh, to get better candies for them, because honestly, by then, too, whenever we're starting to get some of these Pokemon up towards, like, level 75, level 100, I mean... Think about how many new Pokemon could be in the game by then. There's so many new Pokemon that they could introduce. I mean, we have, what, nine generations of Pokemon now? And, I mean, or is it eight? No, it's nine. I'm pretty sure Pal Paldea is nine. Yeah. So, anyways, I mean, they have tons and tons of Pokemon to pick from. So, I mean, this game could literally, quite literally, go... For years and years and years, just like Pokemon Go did. Um, which is exciting, you know what I mean? So, just like with the addition here of Dedenne and Raikou and everybody like that coming to the game. Um, I mean, there's so many more, like I said, intro introductions of other new Pokemon. That <clears throat> by the time that we're getting some of these Pokemon to level 75, level 100, stuff like that. Um, you know, they, they could start introducing, uh, other Pokemon, you know, um, so it, it's very tough to see, say where they're going to go with everything, but 
Um, I honestly do like everything that they're doing so far with the game. I think that the game is uh, super awesome. It is progressing greatly. Um, and, and I think that the the moves that they're making all the time and the events that they're doing is is honestly just making the game great. So let me know what you guys think of that in the comments, though. Um, but we're going to collect up all the berries and ingredients here, which isn't a whole lot because I was already collecting some stuff up earlier. But we can also go ahead and collect uh, our missions up here as well. <clears throat> so we got 14 biscuits given out there. So that was um, some handy candies. And then we can also get our daily gift. And our sleep pass points. So this should take us up to 1600. Let's go. <clears throat> and then the daily gift. I actually did not buy the daily gift yet because I wanted to show you guys something else that's here in the shop as well. So, like I said, we do have the limited time bundles. I don't know if I'm going to be buying any of them. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be going to the beach here soon, so I'm trying to save a little bit of money. Um, but I still I still am considering buying something, possibly. Um, especially because of this. Uh, not the daily gift, but what I'm about to show you after the daily gift. So, what do we get for our daily gift? We got 10 diamonds. Hey, that's great. I'll take all the diamonds you guys want to give me. But... What we are talking about now is the trial bundle. So, guys, <clears throat> when they said extreme savings, they actually really meant extreme savings. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I know that whenever I was talking to you guys earlier about it, um, I mean, I was guessing anywhere between like 10 maybe even $15. Guys, this thing is $2.99. $2.99. $2.99. That is absurd for the amount of stuff that you're getting 500 diamonds, 10 Pokey Biscuits, and a good camp ticket, which is also about the price of 500 diamonds. So, altogether, you're getting a, about 1,000 diamonds in, in, in diamond relativity, and then you're also getting 10 Pokey for $2.99? Pokemon Sleep, I feel like you guys lost your mind. So, we are going to be buying that for sure, eventually. Uh, I'm not going to do it on camera, though, because I don't want any of my, you know, information being leaked out to you guys. Because heaven only knows what you guys would do with it. Um, you guys would probably run me into the ground. <laughs> Anyways, without that being said... Um, or with that being said, I should say, uh, we are going to go back here, though, and um, we're going to cook some lunch now for our Snorlax. But don't get me wrong. We're definitely buying that trial bundle for sure. And I know some of you free-to-players, free-to-play players, I, I don't know. I would consider spending $3. I mean, that... What else are you going to spend $3 on? You know what I mean? Three, You might as well get yourself 500 diamonds and extra... Like, I, I mean, I know some free-to-play players that want to, you know, remain true to being a free-to-play player. But $3, man? What else are you going to buy for $3? You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, all right. Let's go ahead and cook lunch now for our Snorlax. Let's get in here. And let's see what we can get. So, I guess we're doing the Moo Moo Capri salad. I actually was able to cook the um, Calm Mind Fruit Salad uh, for breakfast this morning. So, that was pretty cool. Um, I probably should have saved that for now. Uh, but whatever. We will go ahead and toss in a couple extra ingredients here. Let's do some Moo Moo Milk. Some... Warming ginger there, and we'll throw in a couple slowpoke tails as well. Well, I don't want just one slowpoke tail left, so we'll make it 10. There we go. 51 ingredients going into the pot here. 
We've been getting a lot of extra tasties recently. Couldn't get one though now. 15,000 though. Man. I'll tell you what, those slow poke tails, they really help out. So 15,411. Where exactly is that going to take us? So I think we were at like Master 6 or something like that. So let's see where we're going to be at now. 15,000. Okay, so not quite Master 7, guys, but we should be there later today, uh, which maybe I'll record that for the start of tomorrow's video. Um, but that's going to end it here for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button for me, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow morning's video. Peace.